Sofrito Lovers, this is Ben Ramos bringing you another Diki Diki from my palatial home here in the Northwest Bronx. The Bronx is the home of hip hop and salsa. I am bringing you a fried chuleta, a fried pork chop, and some rice and beans, and a little bit of uh, some steamed vegetables from the Caridad here in Kingsbridge Heights, a wonderful Dominican, Puerto Rican, Caribbean restaurant where they make rice and beans and a bunch of other things. Mm. So frito lovers, forgive me. I wasn't able to bring you a Wednesday mukbang last week. It was just so much. So much was happening. So much is happening now. This week is the debut of my program. My after school program is three days old officially. Brand new director has started. Today was her first full day. Um... New kids, new staff, new everything, newness all around. Which can be a little difficult because, you know, your boy loves. I love homeostasis. I like things not to change. But change sometimes is necessary and change is good. Oh, God, that's so hard to. Uh, it's so hard to, to say. <laughs> change, is, change is necessary. Change is good. Ben, change is good. Ben, change is good. But listen, sometimes all jokes aside, sometimes you have to embrace the change. Mm. Things are going well. So, so frito lovers. I recently came upon some money. I have a $100 optimum gift card. I have $100 burning a hole in my pocket. What should I get with that $100? So Frito Lovers, give me some give me some advice. Give me your input. Give me your feedback. What do you think I should do with the $100? It's $100 free money. I'm not paying any bills with it. It's a gift card, so I can't. But I could, but I'm not. What should I do with this $100? You know bring another change in my life. I got a hundred bucks burning a, a hole in my pocket. What should I do with that? I was thinking of maybe going out to dinner with David and splurging on a really cool meal in some restaurant, some new restaurant I have never tried before. I was also thinking of maybe, you know, buying some buying some like groceries and food you know like spend it out do like a hundred dollar shopping spree at a at a gourmet restaurant a gourmet supermarket and get some fancy new food what should i do what should i do with the hundred dollars i don't know there's a lot i could go get myself some new clothes for the new school year you know go go to target and get a couple of casual wear things you know i don't know I'm just wondering, you guys, sound off on the comments below. What should I do? What should I do? I got $100 burning a hole in my pocket. How about you guys give me some feedback? I'm curious. What do you think I should do? Maybe I can get like a nice little romantic surprise gift for my bear who's been wonderful. David has been so wonderful. David really knows how to ground me. With all the changes going around me, he really knows how to ground me. His love, his support really, really helps me, makes change far more surmountable. Mm. Maybe I should buy him some, something romantic, something cool he'll like, like some music, some books that he likes. What should I do? Maybe I can buy my new director like a a special welcome to program gift. What should I do with this hundred dollars, guys? The hundred dollars is very representative of some cool windfall that I just recently came upon. So I'm just curious. What should I do? What what change can I bring with that hundred dollars? Could I always go to Target. I love going to the Target kitchen section. Buy some new plates, buy some new bowls. 
what can I do? You guys sound off in the in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. What should I do? Hundred dollars, simple hundred dollar gift card. What should I do with it? As I started with the mukbang, you guys, I did kind of a digression. There's a lot of newness taking place. New director, new new office, new staff, a lot of new kids. You know, newness and changes in the air. You got to embrace it. I don't know. You got to embrace it. You got to live with it. Maybe that $100 gift card will, will make the newness feel a little bit better. Maybe that's what I need to do. It's all this new stuff happening in my life. A lot of change. Maybe I should treat myself to something, a tried, true love and joy. Maybe I should go and um, buy some DVDs, some comic book DVDs. You know, there have been all these great DC animated films that have come out that I haven't bought or seen. Maybe, you know. Treat myself to some movies. Mm. I don't know. What should I do? Embrace the new. Embrace the money. What can I do with $100, Sofita Lovers? What can I do? I'm feeling good, you guys. I just wanted to engage with you guys. Again, I apologize. I do so well on Wednesdays and then I mess up here and there. Hey. It's a part of being human, you know. Oh, maybe you should. I should use the gift card to invest in my mukbangs. Get a better ring light. Get one of those electronic things. I've been seeing on TikTok all these like electronic things to make things move and light up bigger and better for you to make better content on YouTube and TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. My hashtag is at Sofrito IMS. At Sofrito IMS. So it's Sofrito in my soul, but it's at Sofrito IMS. TikTok is really a fun way of providing daily or every, or every other day content. Mm. Maybe I should use that $100 and buy some TikTok stuff. The TikTok stores are supposed to be chock full of crap. Good crap, bad crap. <laughs> mm. So, Frito Lovers, I am hungry. I am hungry. Mm. Yeah, maybe I should take the $100 and reinvest in my mukbangs. Better ring light, one of those cameras that, one of those camera stands and ring light stands that moves. Mmm. I'm glad you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are eating something delicious. This ajo con habichuela, this rice and beans is crushing it. It's so good. Mira esta chuletita. Mmm. This chuleta is crushing it. It's so good. Mmm. So, so for the lovers, you know, what can I do with that hundred bucks? I can't really save it because it's a gift card and it has an expiration. So, got to use it up soon. I don't know. What can I do? Hmm. Maybe I could buy more kitchen supplies. You know, I've been wanting to get like some shelves. There are some cheap shelves at Marshall's. I think they're more expensive than $100, but I could pay for most of it and then cover the difference and make some shelves in my kitchen because my kitchen is very small. Back when I lived in Washington Heights with David, 
That kitchen was so glorious. It was so huge. I love that kitchen. It was so huge. I've learned to love the kitchen I have now here, but it is small. Sometimes the lack of counter space is insane. I'm like, I'm trying to cook. I need to spread out. I can't. I have such little space. Maybe I can buy one of those extension things that you put on tables and make more room. What can I do with this money? I'm just really curious. What do you guys think? Again, sound off in the comment section. I could also go to Forbidden Planet, my favorite comic book store, and just go buck wild. Go to my favorite comic book sci-fi store and walk out with $100 worth of comic book stuff. Mm. Everything superheroes, yeah. X-Men everything. Because the X-Men are my boys and girls. My peoples. Mm. 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 So for the lovers, I'm glad I'm able to reach out to you guys. Whenever I don't do a mukbang, I feel a little guilty. Like, I miss you guys. These Wednesday nights are still working. I'm sorry about last Wednesday. I just was, I was exhausted. I think I remember. It was an extremely long day. Last week, there was a lot of prep work being done for this week. So. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A hundred dollars, Sofrito lovers. I know, I'm all over the place. Forgive me. It's just kind of representative right now of my mental state. I'm just like all over the place. Mm. Which is okay. Mm. I'm going to probably do a little mindfulness meditation a little later. Get centered and get focused again. All right. One hundred dollars. Oh, so for the lovers, maybe a hundred dollars, I can buy myself some mindfulness um, books, or even rent some of those mindfulness um, training videos. I'm like this sometimes. I'm like just concentrating. I'm not making fun of it. I love it. The mindfulness has been really good, very good for me. All a part of my therapy, my grief therapy, which I started a, over a month ago. Helped me get focused and think about good things. So, so Frito Lover, sound off in the comments below. What can I do with $100? Maybe, yeah, maybe I'll do some mindfulness stuff. Buy some books. Rent some of those videos. You know, concentrate on becoming one with the universe. What do you guys think, Sofrito lovers? What do you think? Mm. Sofrito lovers, I'm washing it all down with some Coke Zero. Mm. Let me know what you think. Always love your opinion. So, Sofrito lovers, just ranting, rambling. Asking for your advice. Hook me up. What do you think I should do with $100? What's fun? What's cool? What's necessary? No. Not necessary. Something that's fun. Think of think of ideas that are fun. I got to get the practicality and the pragmatism out of my mind. It's found money. It's fun money. I'm not going to do anything pragmatic. I should do something fun. What should I do? Should I pay... You know, go to the movies a couple of times and use the same card over and over and, you know, buy tickets and all that. Maybe I can treat David to like two, two or three movies. Well, what am I kidding? How am I kidding? New York City, the price is here, please. It's a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks will get me two, two, two tickets and nothing else. <laughs> what do you guys think? So, Frito Lovers, go out there. Go have some fun. Go have some culinary adventures. Como siempre, mucho, mucho, mucho amor.